Uh, I mean, Bronwyn Bishop, this is the thing. We've got this problem with the Queensland-New South Wales uh, border where you've got Anastasia Palaszczuk, who I thought, you know, she won the election. Congratulations to your Premier. Big responsibility. Exercise it properly. And day four after the election, she's, uh, she's boasting about Queensland winning a football match on Wednesday night. I, I helped because I didn't watch the damn thing for the first time ever. But, but, I mean, we want some serious interaction between our state leaders if they're in charge of the country. We want the borders open, but... Palaszczuk says Victoria's the reason why she can't open the border with New South Wales because New South Wales are going to open the border with Victoria. Heaven help me. Well, she, she played the um, COVID uh, I'm looking after you uh, line extremely well, Gary. Yeah, yeah. And let's, let's face it, what political party could actually afford to buy an hour's full time of, of free-to-air television every day and stand yeah. up there and say, I am here, I am looking after you, I am making you safe. Uh, and one of the reasons why she won and why the One Nation vote went down uh, is because I have said for, for forever uh, that Conservative parties can't win unless they get that over 65 vote. Uh, and what she did was to say, I'm looking after you, I'm saving you, you're the vulnerable ones every day. You're vulnerable, I'm looking after you. Uh, and they're the people who pushed her uh, across in those seats were, which were expected to go to the LNP. Now, what the yeah. Trump vote has shown, actually, is if you actually take a strong stand uh, and oppose that, uh, that line that has been pushed by these premiers, then you can actually do well because the Labor Party can take no solace from the US election. The fact of the matter is we don't have a president. We have, but we do have a House of Representatives and we do have a Senate. And the Republicans won eight seats in the Congress, uh, in mm. the House of Representatives, and lost none, and they've held the Senate. Uh, and if, they, if the Labor Party think that that is the recipe for them to go to the uh, socialist centre of Biden, uh, where rigging the polls and, uh, or rigging the, the voting system and so on is has no doubt helped. I think there is validity in that statement and that needs to be tested. Uh, then, indeed, yep. we have a problem. But here in Australia, we have the continuing problem of the Prime Minister having elevated these premiers to his equal. Um, they now yep. think that they're running many nations, not states within a Commonwealth. And getting that, uh, getting that balance restored where the Commonwealth is the preeminent uh, government of the day and the states are under that uh, government is going to be a very, very difficult job. And uh, as for the dinky little inquiry that uh, uh, has been set up in Victoria, <laughs> uh, that is, that is yeah. not going to show anything because it's got no powers, no nothing. It really can't be taken seriously. But what can be taken seriously is that $500,000, half a million dollars, going to a Chinese-owned golf uh, resort which took no people uh, from hotel for hotel quarantine and has indeed gone into administration. Where is that money? Was that payment part of the Belt and Road and the, uh, the, the uh, subservient relationship uh, that Victoria has now been put into by the Communist Party of China? There are a lot of questions yeah. to be answered in that, uh, in that area.